Yet both sides, the U.S. with the help of now NATO and now Russia on the other side, they will not budge. And why? I believe, as do the experts in this area, they feel that Russia, just looking at it from the Russian side here, is playing a weak hand, if you will, here only to turn around and then hopefully be able to bargain at the uh, trading table here their way into better trade to gain more uh, control and more access to the world stage in, ter in terms of their relationship re with the rest of the world for trade. And as we know now, Russia has grown closer and closer to China. As of last year, Russia removed the U.S. dollar assets from their national wealth fund and increased their share of Chinese yuan. So very potentially very dangerous uh, Russia-China relations there. I, I, I don't really think they're necessarily growing closer to us. I think Russia just wants to establish themselves more and more and more as a uh, world dominant superpower. I mean, they have been for a long time, but I think right now you're seeing a race to be number one again. But my question is, why would Russia and China, with all these uh, threats from Biden, we're going to send in 8,500 troops or more, we're going to sanction you. Why does Russia and China not appear to be afraid of anything that Biden is saying? Why do they appear to be unbothered? And I am 100% convinced it's be that the reason they don't fear him is because they know he's weak, as we've seen his very, very weak foreign policy. And also even deeper here, they know that Biden is extremely corrupt.